Well, and it is time for my final thought. Now on Tuesday, a group of protesters from the DC Nurses Association converged outside City Hall, chanting Save UMC in an attempt to convince city council members to vote to protect funding for United Medical Center, the city's only hospital east of the Anacostia River. Earlier this month, the council decided to shut down UMC within four years, saying that the city couldn't afford to lose tens of millions of dollars in taxpayer money keeping it open. Now, budget allotment of 15 and a half million was agreed upon Tuesday, well short of the $40 million the hospital was seeking. The new budget is expected to force massive layoffs at the Southeast DC hospital within 60 days. District officials are in negotiations with George Washington Hospital to construct a new private hospital on the grounds of St. Elizabeth's, the city's public inpatient psychiatric facility. Protesters fear that the council's budget cuts could close UMC before any new building is ready for patients, leaving residents of wards seven and eight without any access to a nearby hospital. The hospital's already closed its obstetrics ward in 2017, leaving mothers to be in Southeast without a hospital in the area in which to give birth. The current budget allotment means that United Medical Center will only be able to afford to keep its emergency room and psychiatric services open. Council member Alyssa Silverman expressed her disappointment, saying, quote, you are saying to some of our poorest, sickest residents who are predominantly, if not overwhelmingly black at this hospital, quote, you don't matter. And she's right. People will die without proper access to medical services and care. This budget allotment sends a resounding message that D.C.'s leadership values the lives of its citizens east of the river less than those in more affluent parts of the city. And that's unacceptable. It's shameful that the city has made the health and well-being of those who need its help the most such a low priority. We're going to continue this conversation online. You guys have a beautiful Wednesday and shout out to Frederick, Maryland, who is all in my mentions. Y'all really came loud and in full effect. I got you.